Welcome to Two Dope Chicks Podcast with your hosts, Bree and Kim. Welcome and thank you for tuning in to Two Dope Chicks, aka 2DC, with your favorite podcast hosts, Kim and Bree. I'm Kim. And I'm Bree. And today we have a special guest. She's the owner of Tell All Inc., executive producer of Women on the Rise All Access. She's an author, activist, philanthropist, and that's just to name a few. She wears several hats, and let's give a warm welcome to Kathy Taylor. Hey, ladies. Okay. Hey. hey, how you doing? Great to see you. I'm good, but I told you guys, I, we got one thing we have to fix. Uh-oh. That's adding me as the third dope chick. Yeah, oh, you got it. <laughs> you got it. All right. I'm more than happy to. So, um, Kathy, uh, let's jump right into it. Tell us about Tell All Inc. Tell All Inc. is management, consulting, event planning. Now I'm adding, actually, um, producer. And I am going into um, P- PR, media PR. So that's being added on to my roster of things to do. Wow. So, yes. Yeah. So, awesome. yeah, whole lot. Um, Tell All Inc. is my baby, which is actually the parent company for all of my companies, which is, I'll give you the quick rundown that I have of uh, my movies under there that I've done, my uh, makeup line lab cosmetics, my BG credit lab, um, my, and the women on the rise all access. So all of that stuff is under the umbrella of Tell All Inc. Nice. Nice. You really do wear a lot of hats. Um, we all met, uh, you, Bree, and I, and um, a host of other women that we already knew. We all met a couple of years ago at your Women on the Rise um, here in Atlanta at an audition. Can you just share with our viewers what Women on the Rise All Access is and how it started? Okay, Women on the Rise All Access is a platform where ordinary women doing extraordinary things from their tragedies to triumphs. And how it came about is two years ago, um, my old partner for the Atlanta part, uh, we were at an event and on the panel of the event were a bunch of celebrities and we're looking out in the audience and seeing all of us folks, which is regular women, just in out in the audience and not as in tune to really what was happening. And we came up with an idea, what if we created a show where ordinary women have a platform to share their stories? Now to be more engaging to other women, you know, so they have an opportunity to tear, share their stories with the world. So that's where the Women on the Rise Atlanta came about. And once we kind of got close to the end of it, I actually wanted more from the project. Um, mm-hmm. I wanted a lot of you all, you ladies, to be able to share your complete story because I'm intrigued uh, about people. Um, so I love to hear stories. A lot of times I've always been the one People call me the dumper sometimes, but <laughs> because I love hearing stories. Um, so I wanted to, you know, create something else. So that something else became Women on the Rise All Access, where we have all access to, you know, your stories. So um, All Access has begun, is actually um, the post production phase now being finished up. And I have about 20 ladies that. Um, are sharing their stories. Um, and it's actually amazing, amazing, amazing. I'm excited about it. Um, I just feel like there will be a lot of people that can be healed from the different stories. So um, before the, the show comes out, the book, we did the book, it was released last year. So we have a book where the ladies wrote their stories. And from that, you know, they really got excited, you know, to have their short uh, stories written. And now we want to be able to have a visual, you know, with the written piece. So 
We're excited about it. I'm, I'm like doing cartwheels every day. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Like when we went to the um, audition, we had tons of fun. And I kind of, I, I knew where you were going with it because when I sat down in that chair and I started telling my stories, I was sitting there tearing up because it was, it was such a release for me. I, I revealed some things that I had never spoken about with anybody else. And I think it kind of got to breathe too because I saw her oh, yeah. with Lynn. Oh, definitely. Like the eyes, you know. I guess she'll cry at anything. She'll cry at popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite, but I will cry a lot. And, and the event, the event, the, the televised event and everything, it was amazing. We got a chance to get all dressed up, all dolled up and go on stage and everything. So it was, a, it was a ma an amazing event. So thank you for allowing us to be a part of that. Um, yeah, and that was, I think, the, probably the first time you all actually experienced a tell-all event. It was, um, yeah. Yeah, it was amazing. I mean, cameras, lights, glitz, glamour, everybody all over the place, stage. It was it was very nice. I we really had a great you. time. It was beautiful. So, yeah, so th and thank you again for allowing us to be a part of that. And look, two years later, here we are talking about here it. Here we are. <laughs> but we're not done. Right, we're not we have some stories to share. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're, um, we're definitely looking forward to uh, all the greatness that's coming from Kathy and Tell All Inc. Now, um, you were speaking about your book. Um, do you um, happen to have a copy of your book with you so we can take a look at the I'm gonna actually show you. That's the front. Oh, nice. And then the back. So oh, it has nice. all of the co authors. I don't know if y'all can. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. we can see. Okay. So yeah. you actually, I'm sorry. Go ahead. So in this book, you actually allow all the women to write their own stories. And then that's yeah. amazing. That's different. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So it's a collection of stories. Um, I had a gentleman, um, Sean Sinclair. Um, he's also our publisher. And he came in and wrote the foreword. And it's absolutely amazing um, how he nailed it. Uh, when I met him and he's able to talk from as a from a man's point of view of just how strong and important women are so it just everything about what he wrote when I when I read it I was in tears like wow this is so good yes um, and I knew it was the fit and then I'll open up you know a little bit in the book I actually wrote a little of my story um, in the book um, as well and then each lady has a chapter um, that's titled, you know, something, you know, with their stories. So, and it has their bios in there so people can know who they are and a little more about them. So, yes. Awesome. That's wow. definitely a book that I need to add to my uh, repertoire. Yes, definitely. <laughs> so, um, in addition to, um, Oh, and actually, can you tell the people before I move on where they can find the book, where they can get the book? Yes, um, the book, you can actually, uh, one of the co-authors, if you guys get the back of the book, go to our either Instagram page, uh, Women on the Rise All Access, and you can DM us for an autographed copy of the book, or you can go to Amazon.com, just uh, find Women on the Rise All Access, and you can get a copy of the book, or of course, you guys can reach me either at Kathy Tellow or Tellow Inc. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Now, um, just another question for uh, another question for me. In addition to Tellow Inc., Women on the Rise, All Access, uh, being an author, an activist, philanthropist, uh, co-owner of Lab Cosmetics. Uh, and BG Credit Lab, um, also co-owner, co-creator of the Power Panel, which we'll uh, get into a little bit later. Uh, tell us about your cosmetic line. Cosmetic. Um, I have my partner and I, Mimi Keys, um, created Lab Cosmetics, which mm. is the LAB, and as my cup says, like a boss. That's what LAB stands for, like a boss. Um, and what it was, we wanted an um, easy way for women, when you're running out of the door, to be able to grab that lip gloss or that lipstick 
just throw some on your lips and some eye palettes, some beautiful colors that match our skin. Um, so it was important for us to create colors, you know, that is dedicated to our hues. So like a boss is just that because, you know, when you feel pretty, you feel like you're a boss. So want yeah. every, every woman to know that she's beautiful, just like a boss, regardless. And it doesn't take a whole lot. A quick mm -hmm. lipstick, some eyeshadows, and you're out the door. I love it. <laughs> So are, are, and are you wearing that because your, your face, well, you're beautiful anyway, but Thank your you. face is always to the T. So are you wearing your cosmetic line now, Lab Cosmetics? I do. Off the, every day. I, a lot of times, and I love our lipsticks because I can still put my mask on um, and still, you know, be cute under the mask. But a lot of times I actually like more of a natural, clean face. So unless I have to do an event or something that I just have to get fully made up, typically I have a clean face where I can, I just want to put on some lip gloss, lipstick, or I'll throw on some lashes and, and my eyeshadows and I'm done. Keep it moving. <laughs> there you go. Effortless but flawless. Lab cosmetics. Um, also, um, BG Credit Lab. Just share with us just a little bit about um, what that is and what BG, you do. BG Credit Lab is our online credit guide. And we created this credit uh, guide because we had so many people often coming to us about their credit. Um, a lot of people know my background was in real estate. And they're constantly asking me how to do this, how to do that, how to fix this, how to fix that. And with an industry where most people don't know, you guys can fix your own credit. So what we did, we created a guide that gives you everything, all of the forms, everything you need to know to fix your own credit for half of the price. So literally you can download the guide, follow all of the steps, plug and play, and fix your credit yourself and wow. save a lot of money. So... That's awesome. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. yeah. Fix your credit and save money. <laughs> right. <laughs> <That's it already. laughs> so, um, Bree, you've been kind of quiet over there. So what, what do you got for Miss Kat? I'm just blown away. I want the makeup. I want to sign up for the, for the book. book. Credit. I mean, <laughs> right. and, we so have, and we started an ambassador program, too, for our lab cosmetics. So oh, wow. we're okay. looking for ambassadors uh, for our lab cosmetics. So. I'll okay. have all that information where people can reach out, you know. Well, keep that in mind. I mean, I love the makeup concept because I am, well, you know, busy breeze. So I'm always busy and I want to look good, but I don't want to take the time to do a full face of makeup. So I love that concept. But anyways, um, I wanted to kind of jump into the power panel. Um, it sounds interesting. Um, how did you become the co-creator? When did this begin? And can you just tell us a little bit more about Power Panel? Power Panel for me, everything happened about two years ago. That must be my magic number. Um, <laughs> Kimberly Crawford and Siobhan Fleming um, came. They are the co-founders of the, the Power Panel. And we were a bunch of women who had, you know, kind of similar to Women on the Rise, had all of these fantastic stories. And a lot of it started out with domestic violence. Mm -hmm. um, me personally, I was on the outside looking in. I grew up with, um, where my father was abusive, you know, mm -hmm. to my mother. So I have a different outlook. I'm from the outside in. Mm -hmm. But a lot of times people don't realize the kids and the families around are also affected. Oh, yeah, um, and I wanted to give my point of view you know, just from a different lens, what that looked like and how I was affected and, you know, all of that. So in the power panel, we create those opportunities where women can come and share those stories. So from that, we birthed the um, Pink Boots on the Ground, which is, you know, the, another organization where we focus on sex trafficking. Mm. So we created, we make sure all of the signs are in the uh, convenience stores, hung up in the restrooms where if women go in there, they can get help, you know, or signal to somebody, hey, I need some help. I mean, there's so many small things that most people don't know 
that when they're putting human cargo in trucks and a lot of times they're marked with a green marker or a red marker and people passing know what's happening right before our eyes. I yeah. mean, it's happening around us and we don't even know it. So mm -hmm. a lot of those things that we spend the time educating, uh, walking the communities, uh, feeding the, hum uh, the homeless and just different things in the community where we can spread awareness to everything. Yeah, now that's huge because Atlanta is such a huge hub for sex trafficking. Yes. And I believe it's, it birthed a huge, uh, you know, recognition of what's been going on here in Atlanta because they don't talk about it in the news. They don't really blast it. And there's not that much awareness except for on the ground. So it's really good that you're doing this, honestly. And it's crazy. During Super Bowl, um, I got a phone call um, that I was able to, I knew cars, I knew, um, I got a phone call from a young lady out of town saying that certain cars, certain, they gave me hotels, everything, you know, saying that this was what was on its way to Atlanta and the hotels. Oh and some of the information that I, you know, forward on, I saw it on the news. So, oh my God. Oh my God. I just saw that. Yeah, and yeah. it was crazy to know that you're a part of something bigger and people ask me, why aren't you scared? I said, well, I'm scared every day on a whole lot of things, which, <laughs> right. you know, which is right now, my other movie, Surviving America, that we're doing is for a lot of these things that's happening right mm -hmm. here in America. I mean, we're just trying to survive with yeah. so many different things here. Which yeah, absolutely. And, you know, certain people are born into society where you have to be on the defense more than others. So you're absolutely right. Um, I mean, I just want to say thanks for being a great role model. You're involved with so many yeah. projects. It's amazing. I'm sure people are watching you right now and have been watching you and following you. Um, what drives you to be involved with all these projects? Do you get tired? <laughs> because I know I'm, I'm involved in quite a bit of things, but not like you. So what inspires you to keep going? A lot of what inspires me, besides, you know, my family, my daughter, because she's watching, but I'm also a lover of people. Mm -hmm. And one of the biggest compliments was my daughter telling me, she's like, wow, mom, I want to be just like you. I want to be able to you know, help everybody, save the world like you do, and still fix dinner for dad. Yeah. You know? <laughs> so with everything, I mean, I think that stuff drives me. Um, yeah. When you know there's a lot of people out here who just need help and people need mm -hmm. to be loved. And for me, I receive that from, you know, my mom you know, right. just always loving me and giving. Mm -hmm. I mean, growing up, my mom always took somebody in. Somebody always mm -hmm. lived with us. Wow. And for me, helping somebody else, helping the next person. And that, that drives and that motivates me and it keeps me going. And, you know, every time somebody says, hey, Kathy, you know, you affected me or changed, you know, my life. Or like when we did our cast announcement um, for the Women on the Rise, I had a young lady reach out to me and on Instagram and she asked because she talked to me and I was like yeah and she ended up um I gave her my number and she called me and she said I can't believe she was in tears oh, I can't believe you answered the phone I can't believe you answered the phone and I'm thinking why you know because I don't look at myself as anything but human you know so a lot of times people see you in a different light and I just see me as Kathy and she said, but I know you're busy. And I said, well, you asked, you know, you said you wanted to talk to me. So I didn't understand. And she told me how a quote that I posted, she was in the process of committing suicide. Oh, wow. And she stopped, you know, she happened to just go on and check her Instagram. And she saw that quote from me and was led to call me. And we talked and I prayed with her. And she was actually at that cast announcement. And I think I may have mentioned this a little bit. I do remember day. this. Yes. And she came to me after and she said, you just don't know what you've done for me. You have lit a spark and, you know, I check in on her. She's doing great. And that one thing alone is the reason why. Because if you can save one person, 
you know, you've done your job. So that stuff con yeah. continues to motivate me and keep me going and inspire yeah. someone. And the biggest compliment is your daughter looking up to you. I mean, you know, because I have daughters, so I know that you, the biggest compliment is how your daughters view you and see you. So that's, that's awesome. Um, my last question is, and I know everybody's going to want to know this, so what kind of projects do you have coming up? Do you have the dates, times, and releases? Can you give us those, the names of those projects? Yes, so right now, um, just finished the release of a really big movie, September the 4th, which is Negative Exposure. You guys could check that out, negativeexposure.com. I'm actually, again, we just finished, wrapped up filming my Surviving America, another great project. Um, have a lot of dope people um, came and set on that project. So that's going to be a one to watch. Uh, Women on the Rise, which we're thinking both of those will be slated for the end of the year, going into the first of the year. Um, have a sitcom I've done, uh, working on my second book, and headed next week, have 10 other projects on deck to wow. really And then you're um, going into surgery, and then you're doing... <laughs> <laughs> right, open heart. <laughs> and I'm, and I'm, I have ventured into... I've been told for so long, Kathy, you need to do media and PR. And I've actually taken on, I'm, I do it for my clients, um, you know, for my consulting and business clients, you know, but, um, uh -oh. um, but a lot of it is, I actually have connected now with the drive-in concerts. Oh, so wow. they actually uh, brought me on board. So shout out to Steve Beecham who brought me, you know, in to the drive-in concert. Um, and I've been doing their PR and it's been going really well of getting the media out, get it out there. And it's a fun event. So when you get to work and have fun at the same time, it's absolutely amazing. So yeah, that's it. So, yeah. So shout out to all of my partners, everybody who's working hard, putting up with me. <laughs> <laughs> when I get passionate, I don't stop and I, I push people out of the box. If you're yep. around me, and I tell people everything I touch is turned into gold. Yeah. And I believe it. So it's got to happen. Well, well, keep going. Keep going because we're excited. You inspire us. And, you. Um, you know, I'm sure a lot of other people. Yeah. And Bree and I, we talk about you all the time. I'm like, Kathy's, mm -hmm. Kathy's got this girl. Kathy's doing this. Mm -hmm. Kathy. And, and when we first met you, like, nothing but positive and genuine vibes. And we, mm -hmm. Bree and I talk about that all the time. Oh, and um see this is why now i'm gonna be doing cartwheels and splits when i get off the <laughs> no, like we 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 and, and you're humble so yes. we, we really yes. yeah so we we i mean we're glad to know you um mm -hmm. you know and like i said it's been nothing but positive genuine vibes since the day we met you and we love you thank and you well no it's mutual and <laughs> I do talk about y'all too. So okay. just talking about y'all. I third dope chick. I third chick. All right. <laughs> yes, something came across my desk and I actually um, brought up you guys' names. So okay. I'll see you guys in later. So see. We'll get online. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and I tell people all the time, you never know who you're going to meet and who you'll end up, you know, crossing that road with, you know, yeah. down the line. So just be good to people. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. Yep. Good. Yep. So, so um, Brie, you got any, uh, anything else for us? Uh, um, how about giveaway? Are you still in giving? I am. Yay. What do you got for us? What do you got for the viewer? One lucky viewer. What, what do you got? I can't do one lucky viewer. <laughs> <laughs> well, how, however many you want. Yeah. <laughs> so let's give away a book. Yay. I think I will give away, I haven't decided which one, but it'll be one of my cosmetic products. Oh, I may need to get out on that. <laughs> right. And I think I'm going to give away one of my tell-all masks. I don't know. It'll be one of these colors. I have different colors. So I'll give okay. away three things. So I'll give that um, to you guys. Okay. I'm nice. going to throw in a fourth one, one of my Surviving America masks. Okay. Somebody's right. feeling very giving. Yes, right. <laughs> Christmas has came early, people. <laughs> and people don't know, I am. I like to give. So I, for my birthday, I think I did um, 
to the kids. I gave a raise $500. I did my birthday and there's all my people around me fussing me. Why do you give everything away? It's your birthday. I said, because I, I get like it back. I do it. I love it. Well, good things happen to people like that. When you give, you just receive and it just keeps yeah. coming. So, okay, you guys. So look, Kathy is giving away four things. This is so crazy. I don't think we've ever had four giveaways. So look, you got to pay attention and you have to watch the whole show because we do this at the end for a reason. So all you have to do is share or reshare this segment either on Facebook, Instagram, with the YouTube link, Twitter, wherever it can be shared, okay? And then you're gonna need to do two things. You're gonna have to hashtag Kathy Tell All. That's hashtag Kathy Tell All and okay. hashtag two dope chicks. C-H-I-C-K-S. Do those things and you will win one of her giveaways and we're giving out it out to four people. So hey. let's go people, get to sharing. Like like Kim says, get to hashtagging. Right, <laughs> hashtag, and that's Kathy with a K. K-H-K-A-T-H-Y, yes. tell all. Tell. Yep, thank you, good point, yep. Yay! Yay. Okay. So now let's get to my second favorite part of the show. Um, <laughs> At, at the end of each segment, we have, at the end of each show, we have a tiny segment called the Sippy Cup. Okay, so the Sippy Cup, in your Sippy Cup, you can have juice, you can have soda, or water, but knowing Bree and I is some type <laughs> of liquid libation. So we're going to start with our special guest, Kathy. And Kathy, what do you got in your Sippy Cup today? In my Sippy Cup, it's usually coffee. But All today right. is actually some ginger ale. Ginger ale! That ginger I needed that ginger ale today. <laughs> okay. All righty. Okay, Miss Bree. What you got? Yes, ma'am. So in my sippy cup, I have a margarita mix. Uh, I guess it's strawberry agave, and it's super, super good. You buy it, and you just pour it in, and add some ice, and you're good to go. Oh, wow. You always try to get fancy with, with this. I bet cup. that tastes good, too. I can really only, If I drink, it has to be something fruity or sweet, so. It, yes, but for me, I do have diabetes, so I try to use the tequila, which has agave in it. It's not as bad for your blood sugar, so. Yeah. She always trying to do something fancy. Like <laughs> Me, I keep it simple. I have my Merlot. Okay. And um, I'll probably be sleeping like the next <laughs> 10 minutes though. But I have my Merlot. And yeah, just, you know, keeping it simple. Looks refreshing. Yeah, it's very good. Okay. Alrighty. So, um, products, Marie. What do you guys yeah. tell people about products? Okay, so look, guys, um, we've kind of just started off, so we're still collecting products, reviewing to see what products we're going to feature. So just go to our website at 2 com and email us products that you want to have spotlighted, and we will spotlight your products on the website and in one of our shows. Um, also, if you want to review or see any of our past shows or interviews, you can go onto the website as well. So that's 2 Chicks media.com awesome, awesome. <laughs> all right okay guys um before we get out of here i just want you guys to remember uh tune in every sunday on facebook at 7 p.m eastern um and please join our 2dc group yeah. so that way you'll never miss a show so mm -hmm. again we air every sunday at 7 p.m eastern on facebook uh if you miss it don't worry, we'll do watch parties. We'll run it the whole week. We also are going to post it on our website. Uh, the show will be posted on our website at twodopechicksmedia.com. Also on our YouTube channel, and we'll put a link up to our YouTube channel as well. So we kind of uh, run two things at one time. We monitor our Facebook on Sundays at 7 p.m. Eastern and simultaneously uh, YouTube Live at 7 p.m. Eastern. So you won't miss the show, okay? So um, we just want to give a big thanks to Kathy. We appreciate you for coming on our show. It's always a pleasure when we meet you, uh, when we speak Kevin. to you. 
Yes. Thank you thank guys you. for having me. You know, absolutely. I enjoy sitting talking to two dope chicks. Yes. Hey. I, 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 I also see your fabulousness. So. Yay. Thank so you. Girl. <laughs> appreciate you. Okay, guys. Well, that's been our show. We appreciate you guys for tuning in, and we will see you next Sunday at 7 p.m. Eastern time. And until then. Bye. Be good.